Now, if we're talking about cane juice rums for the rest of this summer, we can't go any further down this journey without first looking at this. This is gonna probably be the most referred to drink or cocktail, if you like, for the next couple of months. This is gonna be vital to tasting a lot of the rums coming up over the next couple of months. This, boys and girls, is the Tea Punch or Petit Punch. I can say that properly, can't I? Now, haters, don't come at me, but to dumb this right down, I'm gonna show you what it is in a second, but to dumb it right down, it's essentially kind of a little bit of a cross between a daiquiri and a rum fashioned, more probably in the old fashioned kind of steaks, but it's a very simple and easy way that's probably the most authentic way to drink sugar cane juice rum, rum agricole from all, all the French islands in the Caribbean. Now it's traditionally served up without ice, it's served up just like that at room temperature. Uh, and actually, I dare say it's actually a fantastic way to enjoy any rum. But before the French hit squad come at me, let's be honest, I don't think you're going to see anyone sort of drinking this that without kind of like a French style rum, a rum agricole, a Martinique rum. Now I've been training over the last month or so. I've been making a lot of tea ponches. I've been trying a lot of these rums to acclimatise myself to this agricole style of rum. Now I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't think this drink is ever going to replace the daiquiri for me. The daiquiri is my big favourite. But I tell you what, this is a very close second. Now what this drink is, is a great way for you to get into drinking neat rum, neat agricole. Now look, it's the same as the rum fashioned. You can, it's got sugar in it, as you can see. You can gradually wean yourself off the sugar to get less and less if you can't handle your neat spirits. Just start off with this, wean yourself down off the sugar, and before you know it, you'll be drinking neat rum. Now I promise I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I definitely not. But let's show you how to make one. Doesn't really matter what glass you use. I've got these nice sort of rocks glasses, tumblers if you like, but it doesn't matter. Traditionally, uh, from what I've heard from Martinique in actually Guadeloupe and places like that, you know, people have just turned up to parties and that sort of stuff. They bring a bottle of rum, they bring a sugar and some limes, and they'll just sit down and make their own kind of tea ponches. It's that easy to do. All right. So essentially, you pick your rum. That was actually the Clement uh, Select Barrel. I'm going to go for this actually just there. And you don't even have to measure. You can do, but you really don't have to measure. You just pour a glug in of what you want. Okay. Nothing, you know, if you want to do a double bubble, you do that. And then you're going for your sugar. Now, traditionally over in Martinique, they're going to use um, what I would call Demerara sugar, but it's it cane sugar, essentially, like proper sugar. We would call it granulated or Demerara sugar in the UK, that sort of stuff, probably Demerara. But, you know, I know full well that around the world, we're going to be using sugar syrup and stuff like that. You really don't want much, okay? Uh, again, it's adjust to your own palate, but you know, put as much in as you need, but I wouldn't put that much in. I'm just going for about a little bar spoon, about five mil, nothing more, and that'll just kind of take the edge off. But the most important thing here is the kind of lime. Now you can see kind of what I've done with uh, that, that lime in there. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cheek off. So just to kind of show you, I'll show you on the other side, hopefully on the close up, you can just cut a little slice off that. You want uh, a little bit of the juice in there, a little bit of the flesh, but not too much. And then all you're gonna do is just kind of squeeze that in so you get a few drops in there, drop your lime in, and that's where these lele sticks come from. Okay, the lele sticks are all from Martinique, you know, they're basically, we can talk about that another day. But essentially what they're gonna do is just get a lele stick and just kind of do that. Obviously they've got like Demerara sugar in the drinks. And there you go. That is as simple as a tea ponch needs to be and gets. Oh, flip me, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely lovely. Different rum. You know, you're not masking the taste of that rum. Very different rum to the uh, select barrel. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now, as I said earlier, uh, traditionally these do get served up at room temperature, okay? There's no ice needed in this drink. However, I dare say we've all seen it confession i've done it you know we're all sort of seen these served up with crushed ice maybe or cubes of ice it is up to you if you want some ice in there you go for your life there is no rules there's no aoc on the guy in a tea ponch or anything like that so you do you but this is more about drinking neat rum. This is what this cocktail, this drink is all about. Now, is it wrong to serve it with ice? Look, I'm going to use this kind of analogy as well. You know, is the frozen strawberry daiquiri a daiquiri? Well, 
Essentially, it is rum, it is sugar, it is lime, and it's strawberry. It's a daiquiri. It's frozen, like a slush puppy. Is that a, a proper authentic daiquiri? No, but it's still a daiquiri. So serving that up with ice, of course, is a teaponge cold. It's all it is. But I would urge you, having, having been on these for now for a good month, I would urge you to drink it without the ice. Now, here's where traditionalists might come at me and have my guts for garters, but this is a beer, you know, I, I, I dare say a lot of you will know that I've done a fair bit of work with Monin, uh, kind of through other sort of things that I've got going on. And Monin do a lot of this. They do a lot of sort of connecting up, especially in the UK with uh, like Spirit Bam, like Clement and JM. So what you can do with your Monins, your flavoured sugar syrups, is you can obviously make flavoured tea ponches. You know, to think back, you know, this is not against the rules or anything like that, because when you think over in um, uh, sort of Martinique and Guadeloupe, they have stuff called oranges, where they kind of infuse like fresh fruit inside bottles of rum. And that's a big, big deal. So this is different, but a similar kind of vibe. So effectively, you can take your own favorite kind of sugars, whatever you kind of fancy. Let's go for a bit of passion fruit in that one. Let's go, oh, let's just go back in, the, back in the row here. Let's go pineapple in this one. A little glug of pineapple and then let's go. Actually, I'm gonna go, I was gonna, I was gonna go mango, but I'm gonna go hibiscus. So we're just gonna whack some hibiscus in there. Okay, we're gonna chop some lime cheeks, squeeze them in to get a little bit of juice out there. Go for your life on the different sort of rums, rum agricoles that you're gonna use. I'm gonna kind of mix and match here. Let's do one with that. Let's do one with the Blanc. Uh, and let's all a bit more in there. Let's not waste not one. Right, there we go. Uh, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the ombre in the other one as well. So you've got your rum, and then we're just gonna kind of do the whole little swizzle up with the Lele, Lele stick. And there we go. Three absolutely delicious but very different tea ponches that you just do not, oh, that's gorgeous, pineapple, that you just do not lose the character of that rum. Oh. So your homework, make yourself a tea ponche. If you're gonna do a flavor, let me know. But in the comments below, dive down. What rum have you used? What sugar have you used? Are you a fan or not? Let us know in the comments below.